What is going on, everyone? How about we take a look at the positive side of the first state? Delaware. If this is your first time watching this channel, what we do here is we make videos about locations in the U.S. States, cities, towns, neighborhoods, etc. I normally do a negative side of whatever subject we're on, but every so often I make a positive video about that location. Every place has its pluses and its minuses. No place is perfect. To be honest, I'd love to do nothing but positive videos. The sad fact is, they only get half the views a negative video gets. Because people love the negative. I wish they didn't. And please, to the person that's going to leave a comment after watching this video that's somewhere along the lines of, you said that this state sucks in your last video, which is it? It's both. It just depends on who you are and how you see things and what you want. So stop typing. Delaware is a great state with great people and a ton of history. It is called the first state because it is the first state. It was the first state accepted into the Union. If you're thinking about moving to Delaware, I'm going to show you why you really should. So sit back and world according to Briggs and Chill. Just kidding. Here's my top 10 reasons to move to Delaware. Number 10. Small state. Delaware is the second smallest state in the country. This is good for a few reasons. Smaller states receive more federal aid per capita than the larger states, which is good for fixing roads and schools and things of that nature. At least that's what you're supposed to do with this money. Politicians rarely do what they're supposed to do with the money. Now, traveling is another reason. You'll be close to D.C., New York, Philadelphia, and Baltimore. Sure, the closer you get, the more traffic you run into, but at least you have the option of going to a bigger city. Not like Iowa, where there is no option for anything like that unless you have two days to travel. If you need to leave the state, the longest travel time you're going to have is about two hours. That's pretty good. If you want to leave Los Angeles, it takes longer than that. Number 9. Beach Towns Delaware has some great little coastal towns. You can go to Rehoboth Beach or Bethany Beach for all the beach town type shops, restaurants, and in general just touristy activities. If the tourist thing isn't your scene, head to Slaughter Beach for a more secluded, relaxing, day at the beach type thing. One of the subscribers said Slaughter Beach is where all the locals go, and it's really, really nice. Not a bunch of shops or anything like that, just a nice place to relax. Said bring a lunch. And Slaughter Beach also sounds like the title of a 1980s teen horror movie. It just does. Slaughter Beach. Have a bunch of girls' bikinis running around getting, you know, killed by something in the sand. That's what it reminds me of. Anyway, in my Not Too video about Delaware, I talked about Rehoboth Beach having some strange laws. One city ordinance says that you can't fake or pretend to sleep on a city bench. I don't know what, you know, really... Maybe it was the homeless people or something like that, but it's weird that they had to put that into law, you know? What if you just doze off waiting for a bus? Next thing you know, you're arrested for trying to catch a couple Zs. But hey, you can't deny these are great places to spend the day. Number eight, health careers. Every state or city has their major industry. Delaware's is a place for healthcare careers. Eight of the top ten highest paid jobs in the state are healthcare related. Delaware has outstanding healthcare. Delaware is a big retirement state, so it's no wonder they have healthcare careers in such demand. Now, I had to explain this to someone in the comment section when I mentioned it before about another state. So let me get this one knocked out right away. As you get older, your health tends to deteriorate. The clinical term for that is getting old. When you get older, things start to break down, sort of like a car. Like an older car, older people tend to need more help staying on the road. Since they have such good health care in Delaware, it's probably a great place to be older. As far as your car, I have no data supporting the theory that Delaware is a great place to have an older car. Stop typing. Number 7. Nature. Delaware is very underrated in terms of beauty. This state is beautiful. With sandy coastlines in the east, then towards the west, you'll get into the trees. A bunch of trees. The state has about 16 state parks with over 100 acres in total. And that's a lot of hiking land. If you are a hiker, try Swamp Forest Trail. It's about a 6.8 mile moderately traffic loop located near Bear, Delaware. It has amazing wildflowers. The path is shaded 90% of the time. Lum's Pond is in the middle of it. It's good for all skill levels. Even if you're older, like I was saying, most people people in Delaware tend to be. It's decent for you. The paths are nice. Just watch out. There's a lot of roots in the path. Just be careful of that. Enjoy this place. Take a camera. Number six, 
good for retirees. Delaware is one of the top states retirees are flocking to. It's no surprise the state has many benefits for seniors. In Delaware, residents aren't taxed on their Social Security benefits. Also, up to 12500 of their retirement income is tax exempt, which when you're living on a fixed income as a retiree, that's a big bonus. They even have some decent casinos. Retirees always flock to casinos for some reason. It's probably the 24-hour bingo. I'm not sure. If you're 65 and over while in a casino, please Please don't try and get your senior discount on a hand of blackjack. It's not a thing. It'll never happen. Casinos offer really good senior discounts, but not for gambling, okay? And yes, I've seen someone try that before. And that's exactly why I don't go to casinos with my father anymore. Number five, clean beaches. When visiting beaches, the last thing you want to worry about is how toxic the water is, especially if you got your kids with you. In Delaware, it's not a problem. The state is recognized for having the best water quality testing program in the country. The water is here regularly tested for all the pollutants, ensuring that the residents and visitors are swimming in the purest water possible. Now, I find this one a little strange. It's Delaware. When most people are thinking about the ocean and beaches, they think about California, Florida, and Hawaii. Shouldn't these three states be the ones leading the country in water quality testing? Bravo, Delaware. This one this one gets high marks for me. I grew up near the ocean my whole life, and our beaches of California always sucked as far as water quality. I really like this one. Number four, history. Delaware was the first state to gain statehood in 1787, about four years after the end of the Revolutionary War. Took them some time to get all the paperwork together. Especially back in the day when they didn't have faxes and emails and things like that. It took a while. This means the whole state is full of history. You can visit numerous historical parks and sites. John Dickinson's Plantation, the Ross Mansion, numerous Revolutionary War sites, and more. Now, if you're a history buff like I am, Delaware is a great starting point to learn about this country. You can't go wrong. Start there, and if you do visit, you can see all these things. And then there's so many other ones closer in Pennsylvania, Maryland, and obviously D.C. It's a great place to start, Delaware. And to tell you the honest truth, most of the population there are very proud of it, and they're very knowledgeable about it. I had a guy all the time in the Army, he'd talk about all the historical things. It's back before, you know, the internet was right there at our palm. He was a wealth of information about the Revolutionary War and Delaware history. It was weird. Number three, fiscal stability. Now, this one is key, and it's really boring. Delaware is one of the most fiscally stable states in the country. Now, this is a smaller state, so it's easier to pull off, but it doesn't take away from the fact that the state government hasn't made any stupid moves that put the state in terrible debt, like so many other states. Most of the towns are in good shape with jobs and opportunity. Sure, Wilmington's a frickin' nightmare, but really, every state has one or two. They're no different. The state has the best credit rating of any of the other states in the country. So basically, if in my 20s I was a state, Delaware is the complete opposite of me. Now, before someone pulls out some minor stat about the money there, hey, don't. I'm sure you could cherry pick some stats that shows Delaware isn't doing that good, but their credit rating says a lot for the state is amazing. Number two, the food scene. Delaware is very diverse when it comes to their food. Like many states with ocean borders, the state has top-notch seafood. All along the coast, you'll find crab shacks and lobster bars and things of that nature. Delaware is also big on Italian food, like real Italian food, not Papa John's. You know, I'd like Papa John's. It's not like authentic Italian food. And to the commentator from Rhode Island who bragged about how good and how plentiful the Rhode Island Italian food scene is, stop typing. The dude gave me a list of great Italian food places and his favorite things to eat at each location. So I'm reading through it, and then I realized he'd actually listed Subway and the meatball sandwich as one of them. That's as far as I got. That was like number five, and I couldn't read anymore. It was it was just too much for a person who really enjoys food to uh, take in. It was It was bad. And number one, no sales tax. Currently, Delaware has no sales tax. That means if you go buy something for $2.99, you're only going to pay $2.99. It's the same way here in Portland, and when I moved up here from California, it took me a while to get used to. Now, this saves the residents thousands of dollars each year in both states. 
Side note, they do tax our legalized weed and pretty much any state that's legalized it, they tax it through the roof, but still, I mean, stoners just happy they're not getting arrested for buying weed. Delaware defies state and government norms. They really do. They don't tax you up the butt and they still have money to fix things. Governors all over the country, when they hear something like this, they're saying to themselves, wait, hold on. I didn't know we could do that. You mean we don't have to spend more than we have coming in? I don't know how that works. Yeah, it's really sad. But that's how a lot of the states work things. It's it's uh, it's unfortunate. All right, so that's my top 10 reasons to move to Delaware. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you got some information out of it. Don't forget all the links below. I don't do a lot of these positive videos because they don't get the views. I'd like to do them more. So help me out. Share this on your social media. Maybe we can get some more views on this and I'll do some more. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Everybody have a great day. Be nice to each other.